Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are all doing great. Um, so today is officially, because my last video, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, my last video was my two-week update, and today is officially my three-week update. I'm actually on my way to see my surgeon. I didn't get to go for a two-week post-op because he was gone on vacation, so... Um, heading that way today. I do not know if he will give me a fill because he said normally he waits um, for four weeks post-op, but, you know, I don't know if another week's going to matter to him since I'm here at three weeks anyways, so we'll see. I don't know. I kind of hope he does because I'm tired of um, not having any restriction because I could pretty much eat what I want within reason if I do too much. Um, I get really sick, but, um, and I'm sorry I'm really shaky today. Um, put new tires on my car yesterday, and it doesn't, it drives weird. I don't know, I guess you just have to get used to it. But, um, so yeah, that's what's up. I'm going to film a little bit throughout the day and throughout the visit, and then put it all together and update you guys tonight. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, guys, so, um... Things got a little crazy at the doctor's office, so I didn't really get to film any there, but, um, I am home. I just had, got back from my follow-up, um, a few minutes ago. Had some phone calls and all that junk, you know how it is. Um, so, everything went great. He finally released me to exercise and do all the normal stuff, you know, that married people do. <laughs> and, um... So, yeah, he said just get back to normal life, and I go in on the 10th for my first fill. I'm so excited. So, that's a week from today, um, which is really, like, I'm so happy. I'm so ready to get my first fill done. <coughs> and I got up this morning, my lymph nodes were all swollen up, and so I think I'm getting sick. But that's a whole other story. Anyways, so, yeah, I'm really excited, and... It's really funny because while I was there, me and him got to talking because I had went. There's my dog. Pedro, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, that's Pedro. So, um, he and I got to talking about our group meeting and, um, you know, how it didn't seem, everything kind of went good until he came into the room and then everybody just kind of shut up and nobody wanted to talk and I can't get my lighting to look right. Um... And so, we got to talking, and he offered me a job. And so, I'm really thinking about doing that. I've not worked in a long time because I've been so sick from being so big. But I'm really thinking about doing it. A patient liaison job. Um, and he has two offices, one here in my town and then one that's about an hour away. And I would be required to go to both. And so it would be a huge change for me and my family. So I've got to think it over. And we didn't really, really get to talk a lot about it because there were so many people there. Um, and that fish tank is driving me insane. Can y'all hear it? Yeah. It, it's low on water. There's my big old fish. Um, so I need to go put some water in that here in a minute. But yeah, everything went good. I'm down another pound. Um, and it was funny because the nurse filled out my thing wrong when she ch checked me in. And she said that um, I had only lost a pound the whole time. And he's like, you've only lost a pound in three weeks. And I'm like, no, that's not right. And they look again. So, um, but she had only, I had actually had to go in and see him, if you guys remember, because that pain I was having and I had lost a pound since then. So, but Aunt Flo left the building sometime last, between last night and this morning, and so I think that helped a lot. She was officially gone. She packed her bags two days ago, but she's a little bit slow leaving this time. But, yeah, so down another pound. So I'm excited. Um, so I guess I should do numbers. My starting weight, um, because this is my three-week post-op update, too. My starting weight was 119. I mean, pff, I wish 119. <laughs> My starting weight was 219. <clears throat> My highest weight was 244. My starting weight was 219. My surgery day weight was 205. And my current weight is 196.2. 
So that's a total of 23 pounds. I don't do the points. It just, um, I probably might later on, but, you know, it's a pound. Pound's pound, so I'm almost uh, 195. So that's exciting. Exciting for me. Now I gotta, I gotta figure out what to do about clothes. We don't have a lot of money, which is why the job offer is kind of um, tempting because. I need clothes and I have no money to get clothes and the clothes that I have are falling off of me and um, so I'm not really sure I'm not sure what to do I'm gonna have to figure that out we need to do a clothing exchange I'm gonna try to see about starting a clothing exchange here especially if I get this job I may bring it up anyways at the next group meeting because um, our support group meets at our doctor's office and See what everybody thinks about that because who wants to go and buy clothes when you know you're just gonna shrink out of them, you know? So, oh, today was really cool too. My cousin was there, the one I'm always talking about, and our appointments were like 10 minutes apart. So, when I came out of the room with him, he went in, he was going in the room with her, and she's like, she stuck her head out the door, and she said, If I get a feel, you come and watch so you'll know what it's like. So, yeah. Um, he was like, sure, you know, you guys are family. She can come watch her feel. So, yeah, I got to go in and watch her get a feel. And it was really weird. The only thing I wondered about was you have to hold your legs up in the air, which I didn't really realize. I'm like, why don't they just get stirrups? <laughs> but I guess for me and the stirrups would be weird. But, um, so, yeah, um, I got to watch her get a feel. And it was not near as scary as I thought it would be. Um, she says it just feels like a little prick and then it's done so I mean he's like, he was in and out I've never seen one that fast it kind of like was like freaky because it was so fast and then she raised straight up and drank her water and she's like that's good you know so I think she's got five five cc's in her band and it's really funny because she's almost at goal she's 15 pounds from her goal and she just got banded in December so she lost her weight fast but um, she's really dedicated. She works really hard. And I'm really proud of her. So. But yeah. So things are good. Um, you know. Look at them little puppy. That's Pedro. And then I'll show you guys. Down there. That's Kit Kit. She's my little Siamese. And she can be really mean. And that's Fat Butt. His real name is Mario, but he don't answer to it. He answers to fat butt. And then we have one of these days when my house is clean. <clears throat> now that I'm allowed to do stuff, my, I'll clean my house back up. Because I hate the way my husband cleans. This is Pumpkin. He's my little six-toe cat. He's got, if you'll let me show you, he's got six toes. I don't know if you can see on there. But he's my little buddy. We rescued him. Uh, so, yeah, we've all got our little animals. I want a pig. Mandy's got me wanting to get a pig. My husband says, no more. Can't have no more. And this is our fish. He's ginormous. He's a red belly pocket. And, but yeah, so things are good. And it's rainy and crappy here today, so I can't go outside. Um... I wanted to get in the pool. He said I'm allowed to, so <coughs> I've been getting in it anyways. Let's just tell the truth. And maybe someday this stupid thing will go away. I got all stressed out and broke out, and then it just stuck around. But congratulations to everybody. I think I already said that, but everybody that went to Wonderland, congratulations. And um, I hit Wonderland so fast nobody noticed. Kind of makes me sad, but I'm gonna do a video about that after a while. I think I've been wanting to do one, and um, so I think I'm gonna do that today because no matter how far away from Wonderland you are, you know, I still had to do all the hard work to get there, I still had to fast, I still had to get the surgery, and I still had to do everything everybody else did. So, my Wonderland is as important to me as it is to everybody else. Um, so yeah, but this video is getting long, so I'm going to go. Alright, bye guys.